Hey guys, Halward here with a video on my trading setup. I have four monitors and a laptop. The four monitors are BenQs. There are three 24 monitors and one 22 inch monitor. The laptop is an HP. I don't remember what model it is. It's pretty old, but it's my backup. Thinkorswim for Benzinga and for other studies because Thinkorswim is really good at that having a lot of studies. If shit hits the fan, I can use this thing to go straight to a different internet source. In my case, it's the Karma Go. This thing doesn't have a monthly fee. That's why I like it. Just put some money in and it's good whenever you need it. I only had to use it once and it probably saved me quite a bit. For the videos and one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching that I do, I use this Blue Yeti suspended with a spider suspension. 20 inch rod connected to the Rode PSA-1. It's flush mounted onto this white table. This table is an IKEA. I think it's the Decant model. And that is connected to a sit stand electric frame. They usually don't go together, but I really like this gloss white black and white like pandas. I have my pushings. They're kind of cool. This guy is always eating a cookie and this guy is always eating ice cream so I can relate. Except for the fluffy part because I'm not there yet. <clears throat> I also use a circular saw to um, cut this hole out for a smart port. I can do SDs and USB inputs. It also has a way for me to um, hide some of the, the wiring. In the back behind here, I've hidden a, a MyBook Western Digital and a Sony portable speaker for the laptop. And here's the spare road clamp. I just have that there just in case. Lego Octavius holding it down, or holding it up actually, holding up my mouse cable. The mouse is a Corsair M65. This thing's set to be very sensitive. I like it because on the side it has a sniper button for me to start moving nice and precise. A Lenovo stealth mouse for the laptop. This remote is for my eyes with the RGB lighting and behind the monitor. It helps a lot for eye strain. So I can choose to turn it off. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but when I turn this on, my eyes automatically feel less strained. In case I want to have a lot of fun. But you know, traders don't have fun. <laughs> okay. A volume knob for my cyber acoustics that are mounted to the sides of the speakers for more stereo sound here and here. The subwoofer is down below, elevated on cinder blocks. I have a chart here, which is probably one of the most important things on the table. I made this, um, this frame for these two charts. This chart is for my stop loss, and this is for maximum shares. The stop loss is set up to where, if you can take a look, with the spreads included, if I have a, if I have a stop 10 cents away, and I really believe it's going to go, I'll risk more. In which case $200 means I can risk 2,000 shares. On this chart, if the stock costs $10, essentially for an account that has $25,000 in, and for a day trader, meaning a buying power of $100,000, you can afford 10,000 shares. And it, it's formulated so I don't have to think. The keyboard is Cherry MX A Jazz. It's a mechanical and it's a, how do you say, frameless? This is really important if you're, if you don't like dust going in, in between the keys. 
or if you have pets that shed a lot. I'm left-handed so I wanted my numeric keypad to be on the left-hand side. This is a key cool. <clears throat> really hard to find. I like this a lot. It clicks really nice. TI-84 for math. This graphing calculator is in color. I love it. How long did it take? for this to come out. Grip exerciser, when I really feel like I need to choke something. <laughs> but this is uh, mainly for my arm wrestling. Pass this time. This glorious extended mouse pad is elevated by Lexan. There's a felt pad there so I don't scratch the table. The Lexan is the same width as the clamp for my armrest, my swivel armrest here. That way it doesn't protrude, it's nice and flush. This armrest is uh, something I really like. There was a time when I would trade and my, my wrist, the bottom portion of my, my palm would start hurting because I, I would rest it here too long, waiting for a move. So now I just rest my, my forearm here and there's very little pressure, if any, on my wrist. After I got my right hand, my left hand decided that it got jealous, so I got two of them. <clears throat> okay, my desktop is really a desk bottom. It's an Asus. I'll put the specifications in the description. It's a low profile. I don't suggest that because you limit yourself to the number of video cards out there. This thing is mounted to the side of the table. I'm kind of proud about that. I used a three quarter or three and a half inch exhaust clamp. I uh, plastic dipped it for added grip. This thing is connected to an aluminum L-beam. The L-beam is connected to the chassis of the, of the computer. This computer has additional USBs mounted to the side with on off switches and there was a time that my cat was a younger kitten and he liked to eat everything including wires especially wires so I had to use automotive loom to protect the wires so he doesn't electrocute himself and I don't lose my trade and it's connected to my APC backup system it's been tested to hold for 19 minutes the power cables are reinforced so Nothing would happen if if my cat decided to disconnect me. <laughs> and what else? Oh, my um, the LG nine twenties for for my cell phone. My V modas for music and my decor. A cross and that soothing ticking sound in my videos is my clock that I used in my classroom when I was a high school math teacher. So that's about it guys. That's my setup. <laughs>